What's up? It's Gladiator, and today we're going to be talking about the new Pip X. We're going to be talking about the Star Atlas uh, DAO, the token, and a lot of things, guys, that if you love this game as much as I do, you may not want to watch this video because it's going to break your glass about what's really going on here. Uh, I, I'm just going to lay it out here, okay? I'm I'm getting sponsored. Um, not, I'm sponsored by Star Atlas, right? I get a content creator um, contract signed with them. I get some benefits, like some B-roll footage, um, uh, you know, very le around $100 a month worth of ships is what the current value of it is uh, that I'm getting. I, I give away more than I made in the first month uh, in the ship giveaway. So I, I just want you to see where I'm at. I'm serious about this game and the things that I'm going to say here are you're not going to like because I didn't like it. I don't like to I don't like to think about it. I don't even like to say it out loud, but I think it needs to be heard. It's time for us to wake up as a community and take control of this game the way it was supposed to be taken control of in the first place, okay? Let, let's just lay it out. So let's get right into it. So this is a recent video that just came out. It's about 45 minutes long going over uh, the proposal that he laid out. I, I don't have any Ill, Ill feelings towards um, anyone really in Star Atlas at this point. So I just want to say if I get frustrated during this video, it's not at any one person in particular. It's about the process that's going on here and uh, the fact that it's frustrating because they're, I feel like people's minds, their, their mind's eye is closed, okay, um, to what's really happened to the original investors into this game to where we are right now. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about um, the painful parts of being a long-term holder in this game as of right now, okay? And the direction that things are turning is not great at all. So let's go right into what I mean by this and what and the points that I'm going to make during this video. Again, like um, all videos from this point forward, if you have the attention span of a squirrel and you need uh, you know something new flashing on the screen every three seconds, see ya, all right? So... The first thing that he brings up in this video is what did what did we see when the 4 R stopped? Well, what we seen was we seen Star Atlas make a statement that said we have estimated the amount of 4 R's needed for one month supply and we have allotted that amount in each category and we are no longer having a sale or offering an unlimited supply of 4 R's. Great, fantastic, the economy starting, let's go, right? 100% on board with it. Then here's where the mistakes start happening right off the bat. Number one, Star Atlas immediately backtracked on that once all the 4Rs were purchased. People purchased the 4Rs. This is a game based on an online economy that's going to be... Um, the foundation of it is the crafting of players' time. It's the players' time to craft and make whatever it is that's going to be made. And we know we're going to take these 20 raw resources and apparently it's not quite 20 but we're taking 20 raw resources and we're turning it into the four resources that need to be played in every virtue virtually every aspect of this game that is the foundation of the star atlas economy so um wait they so how did they go back on what they said well as soon as everything was purchased they said oh wow everybody purchased the four r's they're all gone you know what I tell you what we can do. We'll just boost the claim stakes. We'll just um, triple up on the fucking EV production. By the way, you got to wait 30 seconds before you can drop any kind of cuss words on YouTube. So if, if you're sensitive, guys, uh, this isn't the video for you. So we're, we're dropping, all of a sudden we're producing, you know, boosting EV production, which is a bot infested mess, right? Well, um, we all got the purpose of what it is. It was to do a movement test, but now it seems like a test is now stretching into months and we're supposed to grind on it and like, come on, right? Snap out of that whole fucking whatever dream you're smoking there, okay? So the fact of the matter is the reason why I already purchased those four R's and as soon as you guys boost the, the production on that, you have again, again, yeah, I don't say that lightly, again and again, and we're going to go over that, stab the original investors in the back. You come out with a statement that says, we're not producing it anymore. People purchase it up. The the Of course the 4R is going to go up. We want the 4Rs to go up. In case you guys haven't noticed, um, in case you're not paying attention, 
So this ends in December and, or January, about right in here is when Automata said that they were going to start dumping Alice tokens and Polish tokens into the market. Now, on a non-effect, right, they're not going to hurt anything by dumping millions of dollars in fucking tokens into our market over the last th six months. Oh, no, they haven't done anything at all. Look at the Look at it. It's straight down. It's straight down. Let's look at Polis. Oh, yeah, it's 14 cents right now. Again, look right here. Look how nice and stable up and down it is. They start dumping it in the market. Straight down. Come on. And again, stabbing us in the back. So if, if as a community, we're like, okay, guys, we know, um, you know, you took the head on the FTX. We don't want the project to stop. You need to fucking you know, latch your lips onto the nipple of the, the Polish token and the Alice token that you have a shit ton of because you created it. So as you're dumping that in the market, only thing you're doing is stabbing the people that have bought it. Why? Because it costs you nothing and you're withdrawing it all out. That's why. Yeah. It's yeah. Right. It's a fucking no brainer here. All right. Um, again, turn off this video. If you don't like what I'm saying, I I've been invested in star Alice. I'm down about 30,000 bucks since I originally started, okay? And I'm still pumping Star Atlas. I'm still in this game. I'm not going anywhere, but it's time to wake up. And it's getting serious now that these proposals are coming out and all this backstabbing. Um, we're going to cut your throat and sell it to somebody else and, and hell with all the original investors. I'm done with that shit, right? And it's time for, as a community, for us to step up and, and point this out. So let's go on, guys. I got notes here, guys, about this video, um, about this proposal okay so let's go forward now somehow they act like they were all surprised that this was and according to the video here from what i'm getting you know they're saying all oh, these people of uh, have bought all this and hold it and is waiting to it to come up uh, but what we need to do is is we need to create assets with the dow so we can dump into the market and lower it and keep it stable what like, why would you do that? First of all, the DAO should have no actual ownership of, um, no no actual financial power in the marketplace, okay? They're going to have ownership. So I, I misspoke there a little bit. This does get me infuriated, guys, that we even have this thought process but coming forth, especially right in the beginning. I know there's a lot of smart people in, in Star Atlas, uh, probably a lot of them smarter than I am, but this is some very basic working stuff here. So let's go, let's just take a look at the Polis and the Atlas token. Let's let's take a look and let's go back, uh, let's go back to all. So here in September 22 of 2021, look, look at it in case you can't tell. So if you're having a hard time distinguishing that uh, amount of activity, that's a flat line. That's when you're fucking dead, the project's dead, the fucking shit's dead, right? That's a flat line. So what do you need to do when shit flatlines? You need to hit it with some paddles, guys. So how do you do that? You do that by incentivizing the players, not constantly taking away from your original investments. What about airdrops, okay? Let's talk about uh, faction fleet and about things that were said about earning badges and keeping your ship staked. And, you know, after so many days, you're going to earn these elite badges and everything's great. It's going to be such a great reward. What do we got? We got a fucking skin worth about $1.50 for an X4. Like, you're fucking joking me, right? How about this race? Okay, we've been, since January, we're supposed to be getting Sage this, Sage that. Um, and we've also was told, oh, the next release, guys, going to be an eight-player race. It's going to be phenomenal, right? What comes out? I know a single-player race that if you go outside the Volant Studio part that's been made, and I'm not talking about ships here, I'm talking about the racetrack itself is amateur hour when it comes to UE5. I personally have built things in UE5 just watching YouTube videos, and the fact that you can like go through it is because they don't have the, <laughs> they don't have the settings right. The fact that you go underneath of it and you can see where they took a 3D asset and just enlarged it so large that they had to hide half of it underneath of the base floor of it is amateur hour shit, guys. I don't I don't like pointing it out because in a way, it's hurting myself. I'm already down on money. It's hurting all of us to point these things out. But at the same time, we need to wake up to what's going on, take control of this, and, and stop playing around. Like I said, it's real dollars, real money. 
I take this shit serious, right? And I know a lot of other people's down a whole hell of a lot more money than I am. And we're real people here, guys. And you're real people, right? And I got a car. You understand? So this shit ain't no joke to me. Let's keep going. So apparently, um, the ideal here of the PIP is that the Dow creates 11% of the, generates 11% of the R4. So again, what is that doing? That is 11% of the R4 being given to the Dow, not earned, not generated by players. It's given to the Dow. That's free money. They have to do nothing for it. And then they're going to dump it in the market. And who's it going to hurt? The players. That's actually worth doing the work to, to make it for real. Why would we have claim? Why would the Dow own claims, right? The Dow, the only thing the Dow should be making money off of is the player's uh, time in game. So what do I mean by that? How many, they should be making a percentage of every transaction the Dow should. That's, that's maybe the greatest. Let's keep it very simple here, guys. Let's do a 6% tax into the Dow that at any and everything that gets touched on the marketplace, 6% of it goes into Dow. That way the Dow doesn't own anything, but they're going to be forced to incentivize the players in order to keep that economy rolling, right? To keep things going, to keep their, their reliance is going to be on the players and their ability to produce. That's what the Dow has to be. Otherwise, it's not going to go forward. You're going to get to a point where the Dow is financially in such control, they don't need to listen to anybody's PVP vote. I mean, let's, let's look down the road here. Let's look farther than the nose in front of our face. So let's keep going. There's a shit ton here. That, that's why I got to the point where I'm like, you know, I originally invested into this as an investor in the Atlas token. I got wrapped up in the idea of it. Um, but my recently, my glass has been broken, gentlemen. And I would like to get us all on the same page because so we can take this to where the, the possibilities are. Okay, so it sounds like to me um, from this interview as well that Signal is talking to Mr. Wagner uh, behind the scenes and they're cooking something up and they're keeping Automata in control. So what, what's happening here is that, that to use Atlas to purchase anything at this point, one of the most valuable things the, the Dow has, why is it the most valuable? Because it can increase in price the most significantly. What do you mean by that? At the price it's at right now, the total amount that we have, if it goes up two pennies, it's a monstrous amount. To, to sell any Atlas at all, is is a no-go in my mind. To sell Polis is a no-go. For the Dow, a no-go. This is, again, let's let's go back here, guys. Do you really want to sell Polis? Uh, is it advantageous, do you think, to sell Polis in this market at this flat line? Tell me that it is, and you're a fool. Right here, let's go to the one year, right here. You tell me right now that this Atlas token is the best time to sell this. I mean, I, no, it's not. In case you are, are confused, it's not, okay? It's just a plain no. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to use this atlas according to this proposal um, of the Dow, and we're gonna, they're going to work a deal with the Tomata that they can purchase ships at a 10% of what they actually sell for, the origination price. Again, giving Atomata money, Free money from the Dow, because I mean it is just a, a a copy and paste here, guys. Once it gets to a certain level, right? Once they get the ship done, it's a copy and paste for them. Free money, okay. And then at the same time, we have free money, eleven percent of free money going into free money for Atomina, giving us ships back at a at ten percent of what they sell for. So who does that cut? It cuts the players on the original eleven percent. It cuts the players by purchasing ships at 10% of the value when they're paying 100%, okay? And then it also hurts the players once again, once the Dow has all these ships and, and now can sell them and dump them into the market at an extreme markup, right? And again, sucking money out of the player base, the our economy, right? This is what I've been talking about as far as we really have to be super cautious about what's going on here. This game is slipping away. Let's talk about something else here real and solid. And I, I honestly, just be straight up at this point, I think nothing can be done about it. Automata should have no legal control over the Dow and the Caymans or 
uh, wherever they have it, you know, at to where it's not under U.S. control. They should have, again, I'll say this again, Automata should have no legal control over the Dow. We need to hire our own legal team that has nothing to do with Star Atlas at all and, and to monitor and do this. Um, I mean, let's just face the facts here, guys. I, I like the team, but, you know, there's been a lot of things. I love the team. Wagner has made a lot of comments and a lot of inversions and backs and ups and downs and, you know, pumped the Dow before just to dump thousands of tokens. Uh, guys, does does Michael Wagner really have our best interests in mind? Because, I, I mean, I'll just tell you guys straight up, I don't trust anybody. And if you do, you're a fool. So that being said, none of us should trust anyone. And that should be the foundation of what we're going to build for this Dow. Because if it's built on... Oh, well, we're going to trust them to do this and trust them to do that. It's a collapse situation. Oh, I can tell you what you can trust them to do. You can trust them to take every fucking dollar you got while you're not paying attention. Where's the game, right? Where's a fucking game that we can play and this will not look flatline anymore? It's just that simple. You want to come out with the Dow and pump the fucking Pulse token again just to shit on everybody and dump it out? So be it. But now we know what the fuck's going on. I, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to keep going. I want to end the video just because I'm so frustrated. Just gets to a point where I'm like, Gladiator, just stop. Just stop, Gladiator, because it doesn't look good for me. doesn't look good for Automata. It doesn't look good for my relationship with Automata. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, dude, I'm a straight shooter. And I don't fuck around. I don't care what, I, this ain't the first time. If I've lost 30,000, guess what? I had it to put in this fucking game in the first place, right? So think about it. Let's, let's go back. He put a 45-minute video out. It's got my blood boiling. And it's not just him. I just want to say that Signal's done a great job of putting this out, putting it together. But it is some of the feedback that I'm getting. And, and just like he said, you know, Signal's done the work. He laid something out together. And he got everybody inspired to thinking about it. And that he definitely did. Okay? He definitely did. I'm not... Picking on any one person, I want us to look at this as a whole here, okay? As I want us to look at it as us and versus a, versus or automata is some different thing. And the DAO is something completely different. The DAO is its own entity. There's the DAO there, and there's everything else. It's that simple. And the DAO cannot be intermingled and commingled with automata or anything else. Otherwise, we don't own this game. It is not a self-sustaining game. It is a self-sustaining game that relies on automata. It, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? So, Gladiator, you can ran on. Well, how are we going to produce money? How can the Dow make money? Number one, the tax. Number two, by actually being involved in manufacturing ships. Yes, that's right. Pay players to do the work and build ships and sell those ships. Do it just like you would expect every other person in the economy. Otherwise, all you're doing is some really slick way of stealing people's money. And you ain't fooling me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, look, it's fucking flatline, guys. I don't know what to tell you, right? Look for yourselves. Yes, I know it's unrealized losses. I haven't sold anything, right? I've, I've yet to sell anything, okay? I have giveaway shit, but I'm, I've yet to sell anything. So we need to be developing and building those ships and then selling them into the market by paying players to build them, incentivizing the players. This constant drawing and how can we cut the players and how can we pull all the money out from the original investors? We've already bled them completely fucking dry. Let's just keep fucking, let's just hook them up, right? Let's just hook them to the main vein, right to the juggler, suck it out, be done with it. I mean, because that's where you're at right now. We have nothing produced that we can play, that it's going to, we have nothing produced. I don't want to say we have nothing produced. I'm getting frustrated. A lot of things have been produced. It's great. But look what it, has anything pulled this out of a flat line? Anything at all? And now, so we have, we need no R4 generation from the Dow ever, 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 ever. That will affect the base of, base of our game. We already know the economists can pull levers, right? We don't need... We don't need a 10,000 different ways to crash this economy, all right? That's going to be, it's going to be hard enough to avo avoid that already. Look, it's already fucking crashed. It's flatlined right now. So we can only go up from here. I guess that's the one good thing. I guess, you know, other than going out of business, we can only go up. So 
The DAO has to rely on the players to fund it. Otherwise, the DAO will supersede PV power through money. It's that simple. It doesn't matter if you got all the vote in the world. If the DAO has 11% of the resources they can dump into the market at any time, they have 10% uh, ships purchased at 10% of the value, they can dump it in and take 90% profit away from the players. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, so what should we buy with the Dow? Hard assets. I yeah, I, I like to diversify. I like to, you know, hey, let's go into Solana, some other cryptos, guys. Fuck crypto, guys, when it comes to backing this game up. We're in crypto now. We seen what being in crypto could do with the FTX debacle, which you know, whether we lost that $15 million, this is what I heard. We lost the $15 million because Michael Wagner was was out of state when it happened. He got the tip. The password to get the money out was on his iPad or some shit. It could all be hearsay. I don't hold a guy against the guy at all, right? Um, I Nobody knew that would happen. But at the same time, how dare we invest back into crypto with our hard assets? It should be gold. It should be some type of physical asset that can't just evaporate in the thin air like we have already experienced. If we did not learn a lesson from that, we'll never learn a lesson from it. It's that simple. All right, keep going here. <sighs> okay, we got uh, the Dow. Should never have financial power in the market. Already covered that. Paying automata to get discounted shipped. It's crooked as fuck. Um, the pulse and the players are as one. I 100% agree with Signal when he said that. The polis voting power makes the decisions. We are, we are getting stuck right from the beginning here with a pre- approved plan, a base foundation of a proposal that we're not going to have a lot of choice in. Michael Wagner already come out and said that. We're not going to have a lot of choice in the fact that they're going to keep control of certain things. And the things that they have control of, I promise you, are the key things that they want to keep control of. So September, why, when's the dumping going to end? Well, apparently in September, there's some type of social contract that comes out. So I expect full Polis and Atlas dumping to no end, pumpity dumpity, pumpity dumpity, like we've seen since January. Um, apparently, we're waiting for some, uh, you know, arena to come out, so, some awesome PvP arena to come out. But you know what? I take that with a grain of salt. We we're supposed to see a whole hell of a lot of things already, like Sage, like in January, Sage. Um, an eight-player race that's yet to happen. I still can't take a single step without my, um, not my computer, just a UE5 crashing. You want to know why? Because they don't have all the objects in the racetrack set to Nanite. It, it is not built correctly as far as the settings. They didn't, uh, they didn't put the um, physics onto the items correctly. The way that is enlarged, that's shit that I do and I'm building in UE5, right? I mean... What? A few other things here, guys. So there's a couple humongous games that just come out. They're at the hunt. They were at the 130, 140 million dollars to to build. Think about that. A full on game, 130 to 160 million dollars done. So to say that they haven't had enough money to create something, I think is bullshit. It's absolutely bullshit. I love what's come out so far. I love the ships. I love everything, but I don't like the fact that I'm losing my fucking money one day after the other with very little hope of getting a return. And when we do get a return, just like with these four R's, the entire community pulled together and bought that shit up to try to push up the prices of this entire market. And the Tom just dumped it out. The biggest mistake ever. And you're rewarding bots and all that. You're losing people. I'll tell you right now, you're losing people permanently that's all i got for today guys um if you disagree with what i say put it in the comments make a video tell me i'm full of shit right it, it, i'm okay with that i'm 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 in a place right now maybe i need some help getting out of it but all the things i said here's a fact that as far as from my perspective it's a fact i'm down big fucking dollars here so the the fact that you know, he's saying we need to own 11% of the Dow so we can dump it in there to stabilize and keep the prices low. Like, 
he ain't lost fucking 30 grand, obviously. So, I mean, come on. Come on back now. Come on. I'm Gladiator. I may or may not see you in another video. I'm in fucking sick of this shit. See ya.